Bonsoir tout le monde, merci d'être venus si nombreux pour écouter euh, Connie, Lisa et John. C'est génial, ça fait très plaisir. Euh, donc, euh, et merci euh, au Passimoin et à Kathleen pour, euh, pour leur accueil. Voilà. Donc, euh, on va commencer par euh, entendre euh, euh, la lecture de Connie Scosaro, qui va lire euh, un, un large extrait de son, son, son dernier livre, qui est aussi son premier, qui est un très beau livre qui s'appelle Marie, qui est sorti au début de l'année. Euh, voilà, donc Connie est née à Londres, euh, pour ceux qui ne la connaîtraient pas déjà, et elle vit euh, dans la baie de San Francisco. Voilà, donc euh, on va entendre Connie, puis après moi je dirais une dizaine de, de traductions euh, que, que j'ai faites de, de ce texte avec l'aide très précieuse de, de Connie et de Jeff et Maggie. Euh, ensuite on va entendre euh, Lindsay Turner qui va lire euh, des, des passages de son, de son premier euh, livre également, Songs and Ballads, qui est sorti euh, l'année dernière. Euh, euh, chez Prune Books tout récemment et euh, on entendra euh, des traductions de, de trois poèmes euh, de, de Luc de Lisette par, par Stéphane Bouquet et ça me fait d'autant plus plaisir qu'on euh, qu avait publié un de ces poèmes dans, dans notre revue avec Maël euh, et, et Benoît et, et Johanna avec, euh, avec, qui, avec qui on travaille donc c'est la revue donc il y a un poème de Lisette qui sont très beaux livres ça c'est Marie et voilà. Donc en fait, euh, oui, aussi il faut dire que Lindsay euh, est également traductrice, elle a traduit euh, magnifiquement euh, Stéphane Bouquet, euh, euh, mais aussi Ryoko Sigibushi, et elle traduit aussi de la théorie, euh, et notamment euh, Philippe Mera. Et ensuite, on va entendre euh, John David, qui est un poète aussi américain. Alors, euh, il y a eu un grand débat pour savoir si John était en fait anglais, canadien, mais en fait il est bien américain. Et, euh, et donc John vient juste de sortir son, son tout dernier livre, je crois que c'est il y a quelques jours ou quelques semaines. Ouais. Et euh, donc on va, on va l'entendre en lire un, 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 un morceau, c'est celui qui est... Je viens juste de le voir physiquement, qui est super beau. Et euh, John euh, a réussi l'exploit de s'auto-traduire. Donc euh, ensuite je vais avoir l'honneur de lire l'auto-traduction de John. Voilà, donc euh, merci beaucoup euh, à chacun euh, de vous euh, d'être... Euh, d'avoir accepté de venir ce soir et puis à ce beau public, ça fait très plaisir. Voilà, donc Connie, c'est toi. Je veux juste dire merci à Marie pour organiser ça, c'est vraiment... Qu'est-ce que je veux dire C'est humiliant que vous voulez lire mon livre, pour traduire mon travail. Et hier, j'ai eu cette expérience de juste dire... Oh my gosh, quelqu'un a pris tellement de temps pour sort of puzzle through the, uh, the, the various... Uh, Ambigu ambiguities and difficulties to try and make a translation. That was a really new experience for me, so thank you so much. And thank you to the people who run this space. So I'm just going to read from uh, Marnie, which came out earlier this year, from Cropsteyer. <laughs> when I was a little cut, I thought I wanted cancelling, lotion, syrup, Percocet, to extinguish my sting. I thought I wanted fire, to scorch my vile shape, or scientific hands, to smother me in place. But as I made my way, in misery and pain, my heart changed her direction, in place of hate self-loved. Now I am a happy hurt, a cheerful scissor sliding. I press the door to send the gas. I ask them for their papers. I cut their paper legs off as they advance in rows. I lacerate their entry path on their way from Mexico. Pain is mine and mine is cut and cut is cry and cry is fuck. And fuck is harm and harm is fuck. The tears laugh down my cheek. Cheek is mine, and pain is mine, and cut is mine, and cry, mine is cry, and harm is mine, and mine is fuck, the tears fuck down my cheek. Years earlier, some stirring, gurgling of first motion, fossil frozen, sat caught, life comes sudden on a star's wink, then stunned still through the Paleolithic, dark ages, 1668, <coughs> the birth of cinema, Auschwitz, New labour, Marnie cradled by the universe's loving crush, potentials flexed, exact and waiting. Or 
Marnie in Heliodrome, flex inhibited 1992 to 1994, my little engine parched and faltering. Eyes open, weary old and blue, dispense words like shook snow, palindromes where then shakes its spastic dice, logos goes goo goo, makes illicit scramble of now or never will we go to that place, but she is an orphan, this is important to no one. She defies the shades and begs for those clean articulate coercions. Doctor, in August, swim not only in the Mediterranean, the Atlantic, the dead, swim too in the Xanax streams, the leather brooks, the cum lakes after midnight, chop with dick suckers, drinking infinity in this prick lake called pain, stroke their heads, marked for death, ask of them, bold questions, wipe the lighter fluid from their eyes, kiss them like a French sister, feel their insides like a hand in the dark, like terrorism, Away then from the nightclub fish and sulphur, the intractable night, year zero, a lush dream, daybreak on feathered lime and rolling moss and bright water, but something not right, not real or unreal, a real catastrophe, not beautiful, but something so beautiful it became all I could think. A blast of flora, all the English names, a ticklish allergic mass, a hurricane of living blooms, with impish personalities, posies and roses, chrysanthemums and foxgloves and cowslips and pansies and flirting primroses, dog rose and mistletoe and happy to see you thrift, chuckling polybush and tickle you myrtle, touching you copses and forcing kiss time, grass of Parnassus in shivering bouquet and daffodils with trumpet mouths, moaning in the pepper breeze, Sweet jailer cinch sewn all around in lasso Rosalie. Wild margin of the garden cities. Experiment, green rule, green unruled shag behind, squat England, semi-detached, beaming plazas and garrulous fountains, and wide roads and identical schools for the new people of New Harlow and their new secure attachments tended by the kindly janitorial spirit of Mr. Bowlby passing stiff arthritic hands across squat frames, small windows, just a nudge of the door and linoleum and rectangle blinds and toilet carpet meets vegetable chaos, high green concerto, sweet Essex, populous herbs, waving loquacious and feverish referendum. smash your fucking face through that wall. Punch your fucking face on a Sunday. Out, or I will cut your fucking throat, or the representation of your fucking throat, which in our society is really the great usurper of your fucking throat. And the cutting well is really the representation of cutting, that in our society is really the representation of the society that really denies me anything but the most mangled beginnings of a personality. I can't control it. I am what I am. Blame Haringey Council, 2008. It, me, it let me live for free in a pleasant semi-detached and drink England's albumen from a tiny quartz glass. Son, listen. The proletarian is the subject and object of history. Are you listening to me? I said the proletarian is the subject and object. Son, I said the proletarian is the harm incarnate, incarnate sliding down the cheek of all desire and goodwill amongst people of the same circumstances. This is why builders are called animals in this house. Builders piss and shit in the sink. Piss takers and cowboys shitting in the bath as well. Read, 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 you got to have a plan. Deeves and Worcester, the Canterbury Tales. Nancy Drew, little fucking women. Amazon.co.uk slash, I do not think that they will seem to ever seem to unite all of the best qualities in Kubla Khan, fuck you up, your mama. That April, sure shooter, drew to ma, appears to, spell it again? Words jump around. I larvae, I call them. Roxbourne Library, public records. I one copy, but missing, oh dear. And, oh, the Bunyan too is marked as, and the Pseudo Dionysius is also marked as, kill yourself. Xanax is a palindromic repetition of the first three letters of Oxford and Cambridge. Xanax is a palindromic repetition of the first three letters of being clever. Xanax is a palindromic, 
palindromic repetition of the first three letters of I have really lost my sense of self-worth. What I see before me is a woman laid out on a stretcher in a building in the shape of an octagon with a long mask stretched over her eyes like an eel. She is on standby, not sleeping, not dead, but absolutely medicated, and it is absolutely not okay to wake her. Besides, the linoleum floor is caked in shit smeared by a small Jack Russell, and I just know if I go into that building I will never come out. But fuck, my desire, my desire is to do the unthinkable, to approach her quietly and lift the mask, kill yourself. Adderall, slow release, kill yourself. I approach, my heel sticking to the shit, kill yourself. The dog is barking all crazy, and I put my hands there on the mask and I start to peel. I'm panting. Oh, she's so beautiful, so familiar. That bow called mouth and how her hair lifts under my breath. Wait, she's not happy. Shuddering, gargling, actually cold, laid on ice, not feeling well. Oh no, she opens her eyes, vomits, too light. I can't think. Postulates missing like teeth, just bloody sockets and groundless supposition left. One thousand dollars or oblivion, can't pay, but sex does its best, deferves its pain in anapests. Anus one, anus two, anus avenue. Anus created in the hutch of LGBTQ. So unfix our forms, find sides and glue. Be slim and uncomplicated, unboy for you. The new anus will be wide and cartographically complex, recently blonde and from New Jersey paradoxical and unenvious, the new anus will delete all crisis and ambiguity. Enjoyment will be an inflatable yet stalwart parapraxis, a shoe profiterol stuffed with a trio of largest marbles, balanced triumphantly and predialectically between lifting up and falling down. And after a gram of ketamine, we will use it to play finger volleyball with beautiful rich Californians we do not know that well. Boy, oh, how long have I been here? Where is the taxi? Why does four in the morning taste like Shoebury Nurse, Prittleford, South End on Sea. Walking dogs in the dark, fat lip of beach blows babies in foam. Travel is killing me. I count diazepams in Billericay. Rx Zoloft. May your lines run long and adumbrated bland, mischief trimmed by the smiling dozed hand. Herr Pfizer, accurate sir. Avuncular, Mathematical, Rush and AstraZeneca. Putnam, smoke weed every day. High as rumbus writing to, lying to psychiatrists to make an I am in my likeness to pulverize the problem set so further from the window get. Cambridge University Library, The Map Room, 2010. Nobody heard me gargle in sympathy in nylon. I had these fantasies. We all, young and pretty, have the same one. Iris windmills, spring, J.H. Prynne's parties, making ourselves thin, MCM prime and milk thistle, where holds me fainting now. I used to feel beautiful in my poems. Now I feel dead and like I have no creativity. I have no creativity. It took a summer of wavering symptoms, like hallucinating Marnie with my neck hairs, to deep throat, doubt, take it low inside and finish it, hold it in like a black egg, a nice oval I exfoliate. Do not discontinue your medication without consulting your doctor first. Sudden discontinuation may result in symptoms of suicidal ideation, dizziness, and rent strike. Why do all my friends live in squalor with naked light bulbs hanging from the ceiling and concrete floors? 800 pounds a month, kitchen sticky with yellow filth. Why does that sink never unblock? And why do our students act like trembling petty bourgeois? This is not the right genre. Even fungible personalities like us need small and unimportant territories to dominate, such as kitchenettes. I put away your dishes and dried them up because I love you and I'm tired of fighting. In the Lord John Russell, eight o'clock, rain on the window, a drunk leaves that leans over and whispers, there is nothing noble or beautiful in our zero hours ekphrasis. By adding Abilify, you may be able to live the life you truly deserve, symptom free. Abilify isn't for everyone because it can cause seizures, so do not take Abilify if you have epilepsy or an eating disorder. Major side effects include anxiety, weight gain, dry mouth, blurred vision, drowsiness, sleep problems, and all of, most of all, loss of natural abilities to dream fondly of one's own death. Lies in my arms, soft and without a proper name. We're not sure. We don't know what suits him yet. Edwina, no.
Teresa, yes, maybe Teresa. Before all of that, I was St. Catherine, backed by a blazing cycloramic sky, Dachau and Auschwitz, flickery and sentimental noir. I lived off applause, ovations would wake up in flames. Before all of that, I was a waltzing pair of lips, perplexed and stunned and stepped, mouthing someone else's vows in a secret location in Chicago, my voice deployed as phase six of entranced interrogation. Oranges and lemons, sing the bells of St. Clements. You owe me all your euros, sings the Swede at the bureau. This simply will not work all, says Angela Merkel. Here comes the ring, stars to light you to bed. Here comes the Boris to chop off your head. It's a relief to be home. The prison was small. The Americans did not meet my expectations. Now all I hear before I sleep are the songs of Kiss and Aerosmith and blonde child of sweethearts promising each other everything in semi-automatic obsolescence. Before all of that, I was a documentarian and the star, staking my lens into tragedy, showing reason with a dove-winged shot of pure-hearted feminine intuition, my true and authentic personal experience yielding a Catholic series of promotions in which I preside over lesser women, Chris and my St. Hedwigs and St. Gwens and St. Hilda, Hilda Markers, who extract my agonised Jou, dull to departure breath of mar martyrs, monke on Sundays, innocent and long. But this is just a story. Truth is, I was hurt, just not in the right way. Would testimony gets murderous looks from the knitting circle where I knocked needles with finally being understood? But the knocking sound was hollow, and I was just not getting better. Effort to mend, no match for the almighty tear. Forgive me, angels, martyrs, needles on my scarf ran away with themselves, and now mine says in rickety weave, help me, sister, I have a taste for artifice. Izzy dangles from the hoist head first, her entire body squeezed and bound, and hair trailing to a somewhat accusatory point. She looks like a beautiful and violently gymnastic ham. I hated what happened last year and had to leave work to calm down when I found out the extent to which I needed to be held and convinced I had no will to resist what I could not hold in my hands in a sieve made of small change, plastic hair, literary forms such as the na travel narrative, personal essay and expose. This is an expose that reveals nothing except the total hypnosis of real life, whereby the intractable demand of waking is loving the wrong things forever, either surviving them or killing them in rhythms or misuse. Or waking up at the end of this session, south of the Mason Dixon, dressed in white with wet cheeks, clutching a promised deck with feathers but cold to the touch. The hand, now made of reticence, drips up, drifts upward to the corner of the chaise away from the band and away from the hole, sparkling and articulate, muttering something about money. Tide comes in, tide goes out, some waves wipe and others hoard, glass cutted in chests, each fragmented by another fragment's fragment. Damage was our treasure, it sights many and unmapped. The sea gave us gifts of harm's polished bits, yet they go missing, are no longer mine or lose their magic tendency to mean something. We should have stopped for rock with our names on, or a George V and Mary tin with us on instead. In the forgotten seaside towns we would run to, to escape our stories and our misremembered lives, how we would hold each other particularly in warm cars, whisper histories called lying, on the Sussex Downs flattered by a coy sun, and the chatty, insignificant shop owners and waiters and walkers who were in private are public. When in public, I had grown a second private that beneath the primrose and thistle and flirting foxglove was a life-size hole, defiant and ecstatic. Rotting Dean, Chichester, Hating, Hastings, Shoreham, Lewis, Hove. Now the years are us outpacing. We say goodnight to love. If I creep towards you, Leave this at your sleeping side. Will you turn to it tomorrow and unleash the pain that hides? Marnie, I can be alone no more. 
child and dialectic of the shore. Now I see your tail glinting in the lick of cold sea. So come with your damage as a lodestar to me. At last you surface and flick your looping hair, a historical expression your grey eyes wear. Onwards to ethics, the grammars of new, tomorrow to old forms and disasters new. Thank you. Quand j'étais une petite coupure, je croyais que je voulais m'annuler. Lotion, sirop, percocette pour éteindre ma piqûre. Je croyais que je voulais du feu pour brûler ma vilaine forme ou des mains scientifiques pour m'étouffer sur place. Mais en faisant mon chemin dans la souffrance et la douleur, mon cœur a changé de direction. Au lieu de haine, soit saine. Maintenant, je suis un mal heureux. De joyeux ciseaux glissants, je pousse la porte pour diffuser le gaz. Je leur demande leur papier. Je coupe leurs jambes de papier alors qu'ils avancent en rang. Je la serre leur chemin d'entrée en provenance de Mexico. Peine et mienne, et mienne et coupe. Et coupe et pleure, et pleure et cul. Et cul est mal, et mal est cul. Les larmes rient le long de ma joue. Joue et mienne, et peine et mienne. Et coupe et mienne, et mienne et pleure. Et mal et mien, et mien et cul. Les larmes baissent le long de ma joue. Des années plus tôt, un vibrant gargouillis du premier mouvement. Fossile congelé, sève saisie. La vie est soudaine en un clignement d'étoiles. Alors, pétrifié sur place, à travers le paléolithique, âge des ténèbres, 1668, la naissance du cinéma, Auschwitz, New Labour, Chemsex. Marnie bercée par le coup de cœur de l'univers, potentiels à bloc, exact et en attente. Ou Marnie à Héliodrome, flexion inhibée, 1992, à 1994, mon petit moteur, assoiffée et chansonnante. Yeux ouverts, là et vieux et bleu, distribue des mots comme de la neige tremblée, palindrome ou tremble alors, cédé en plastique. Logos grogne, areux areux, fait du bordel illicite de maintenant, où jamais plus nous n'irons à cet endroit, mais elle est orpheline, c'est important. À personne, elle le défie le divan et supplie pour ses coercitions clairement articulées. Médecin en août, panagé. Seulement dans la Méditerranée, l'Atlantique, la mer morte, nage aussi dans les flots de Xanax, les ruisseaux de cuir, les lacs de sperme après minuit débordent de suceurs de bites qui boivent l'infini dans ce lac de Zob nommé douleur. Caresse leur tête, marquée pour la mort, soumêlée à des questions osées, essuie les sens abriqués de leurs yeux, embrasse-les comme une sœur française, sans leurs entrailles, comme une main dans le noir, comme le terrorisme. À des lieux de l'odeur poisson du club et du soufre, de la nuit inextricable, année zéro, un rêve luxuriant, levé du jour sur zone citron à plumes, et mousse ondoyante et l'eau claire, mais quelque chose qui ne va pas, pas réel ni irréel, une catastrophe plus réelle, pas belle, mais quelque chose de si beau, c'est devenu tout ce que je pouvais penser. Une explosion de flore, tous les noms anglais, une masse allergique chatouilleuse, un ouragan de fleurs vivantes, avec des personnalités espiègles, iris et rose, chrysanthèmes et digitales, et coucou, et pensées, et prime vert qui flirte, et glantier et gui et œillet contents de te voir, ou gloussant et myrte te chatouille, bosquet te touche et teint baiser forcé. Parnassie des marais en bouquet frissonnant et jockey avec des bouches en trompette gémissant dans la brise poivrée. Doux geôliers ceinturés tout autour des amaryllis cousus en lasso, marge sauvage des cités jardins, expérience, indiscipline verte embroussaillée derrière, de terre de plein pied, mitoyenne, place radieuse et fontaine volubile, et large route et école identique pour le nouveau peuple de New Harlow et leurs nouveaux attachements sécures entretenus. Par 
les mains de l'esprit de conciergerie de M. Bolbou, passant ses mains ankylosées d'arthrite par les petites fenêtres au cadran ramassé. Juste un coup de pouce de la porte et le lino et les stores rectangulaires, le tapis des WC rencontrent un chaos végétal vert vif. Concerto, doux et sexe, herbe populeuse, agitant, loquace, le référendum fiévreux. Quand une chaude nuit d'été élu sommairement le meurtre sacrificiel d'Arcadius Joswick, après que le pays ait voté pour vous faire le tour du propriétaire. Merci. Thank you.